Someone explain it to me. We have a presidential candidate who is convicted of sexual assault, not to mention fraud, and people are considering this a viable president. Ah, uh, what happened to the values people that uh, post the Ten Commandments all the time when your nominees violated probably nine out of the ten multiple times? Hello, where is that Christian? And <clears throat> I thought we we're supposed to be picking the highest model, not the lowest you can go. Hello, so explain this to me. Why are Republicans backing a guy who could literally shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and they'd blame the guy got shot? Or say, oh, you know, conspiracy, or eh, he deserved it, you know, come on, man. There is no lower moral value you can go than a man who's committed sexual assault and he's been convicted by a jury, not a judge. Not to mention the fraud. You got 12 New Yorkers agreeing on anything. That's a miracle right there. And they did. So tell me, Republicans, why are you picking this guy? You've got all these other people. They, you know, they've got their issues, but at least they have some kind of morals, moral values. And not only that, but he loves the dictators that we're supposed to be against, not for, so he can have his peace plan as Ukraine, you know, goes back to Russia, and then they can go take the rest of Europe. Yeah, he, do what you want, he says. Come on, you some, uh, are you guys on drugs? You know, don't, you're, you're supporting a man that called our dead soldiers suckers and losers? Go talk to G retired General John Kelly. That's who he said it to. He confirms it. What's wrong with you? Tell me. Explain this to me. Michael Fedlin, until next time.